What's up guys, Mr. Hank is here with the A3-F4 Beat Battle in the Rap Tournament just to give you an update on round one matchups as voting will end at the end of this week and we'll move on to round two so you need to get your votes in. Two Inch Terror versus Pickle, Pickle in the lead. Lil Hiccup versus B-Dub, we actually have a tie so need you guys to break that tie, get your votes in. Uthlot Music versus Arsenic. Uthlot Music is leading. Thunder Drums versus Oak Granger. Oak Granger is leading. And with the rap category, we got first leading Adrian Park. Next is Ed the Pizza King. And then finally with the Reaper. That's my wealth with the silver spoon. Five so I failed that side squid stayed really bad. And for the rappers, we will continue to keep the voting open until the entire beat battle and rap tournament is complete. So if you are in the contest, get your friends and family to vote worldwide. Anyone in the world can vote for you. And if you haven't voted for your friends, this is your chance to make sure they get pushed to the next round. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caden Wright, and here's what's happening at A-Town today. Last night was the opening night for the Albemarle Players production of Tuck Everlasting. The play will continue to run till Sunday, May 29th. You can get tickets at the Albemarle Players website. The AHS Film Festival will be held on Tuesday evening at May 24th at 7 p.m. Come see these original short films written, produced, directed, and starring AHS students. The film festival is free, but donations will be accepted and appreciated. Camera is rolling. Sound. Scene one, shot nine, take one. Action. I know you're here, son. Oh, hold on, hold on. The focus, the focus shifted. Yeah. Without getting too uh, in depth, the, the theme, the overriding theme of the film festival is th this year is uh, love and death in an American high school. Uh, there seem to be some uh, uh, pervasive themes, uh, which mostly included um, uh, hooking up and then murdering people. I was just wondering, are you okay? Like, is everything all right with the new guy? Jake, things are great. Why? I don't know. It's something about him. Uh, hooking up and then murdering people. So, um, you know, all the, the, the most important elements of life in high school. Well, uh, I was director for a couple of films that we've produced, both through film team and through some student productions with the school. We did Camp Get Right in the fall, and I was primary director for that, and had a lot of my friends from film class be my cinematographers and ADs. I, being the main cinematographer, worked on most of the films in the advanced filmmaking class. So I'm really just excited to see how all these different projects with all these unique stories kind of came together. I was the editor for one movie only, and that was uh, Camp Get Right. Uh, it was basically mostly color corrected and audio mixed by me. I was, I did all of that, and I hear I have pushed the the, um, the boundaries of filmmaking quality. And so I'm excited to have set the new bar, which will never be broken ever again. <laughs> Yeah, this year's been pretty unique because I've gotten to kind of do every part of the process. I've written a script, I've also assisted directed on Camp Get Right, and I've directed and produced my own film for Weight of Water, which I'm also editing. And um, Brett, our lead cinematographer, has been teaching me a little bit about the camera because he's going to USC next year, unless he fails out of school mysteriously and has to retake the year because of filmmaking. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cut. That's good. The film festival is May 24th. That's a Tuesday. It is the day before the seniors check out of school. It's going to be in the auditorium at 7 o'clock. It is completely free, although donations uh, will be accepted and appreciated. Uh, there will be somewhere between 
four and six films, depending on uh, what we finish by that time. And uh, something for everyone. So come check it out. <laughs> <laughs> the Minutemen is AHS's a cappella group for lower vo voices. Auditions for next year's group will be during Patriot Period in the choir room on May 26th and May 27th. Prepare a chorus and verse from your favorite song that showcases your vocal range. Recordings can also be sent to Minutemen at AHS at gmail.com. Ask in any questions. In sports news, last night, girls across took a step forward in the postseason by beating Patrick Henry Roanoke by a score of 14 to 6. Boys across will start their postseason run tonight when they travel to Roanoke to play Patrick Henry. Soccer playoffs will also get started tonight. The undefeated Patriot girls squad will host William Fleming while the boys take on Harrisonburg. The girls play at First at 5.30, followed by the boys game at 7.15. Let's come out and support our Patriot athletes. That's all for now. Have a great day.